It was 12 o'clock in noon. You were desperately waiting for your ma'am, who is coming to meet you after six months. You both got married six months ago, and you spent one week with him at his mansion in Seoul. And then you came to Busan. Here you came to handle a company which is newly opened by your laws. Your parents-in-law lived in another city. Here you were living alone. Then Jungkook's sister-in-law told you to take her six-year-old daughter with you. You had no any problem because she is very cute and intelligent girl. Her name is Ari. From five months, she lived with you, and now she get attached with you. You both live here happily. Jungkook's elder brother Jimin and his wife also live in another city, and their daughter live with you. You were alone here, so they decided to keep Eri here. She got admission here. Bell rang and he opened the door, and then you saw your handsome man. After six months, before you could speak anything, he hugged you tightly. I miss you so much, sweetheart. Me too. He picked up you in his arm and walked towards the couch. He sat on the couch and kept you in his lap. You are still so light. You know my warm-up weight is more than your weight, but you look beautiful. You smile slightly. By the way, where is that little monster? Don't call her monster cook. She's in school. She will come at two o'clock. Oh, that's mean. I have two hours. You fun? Do you have any plan? Of course, I wanna spend some peaceful time with my beautiful lady. Okay, but first go and get fresh, and then have some food. I prepared your favorite dish. Okay, but what if I have you first? He leaned towards you, making you red. Your eyes get closed as his lips landed on you. You both follow each other passionately and get melted in his embrace. At two o'clock, doorbell rang. You open the door and here she entered, smiling wildly. Hello, old uncle. You little monster, I'm not old. Your dad is older than me. Hmm? My dad is handsome. Oh really? Your dad is old and you know short too. No, you are short. You giggle while watching their fight. Eri, go and change. And you, Jungkook, please don't tease her. Little girl of little dad. Auntie told him to stop this nonsense. Oh really? Who start this nonsense? Jungkook, stop it. You go, Eri. Time skips at night. You were cooking while Jungkook was also helping you. Eri was doing her homework. Auntie, I completed my work. Okay, you can watch TV. Eri ran towards TV, smiling widely. She was so engulfed in cartoon. Then Jungkook came and sat beside her. Why are you watching this little man? They are not little man. They are snow dwarf. What is the meaning of this snow dwarf? Oh, oh, don't disturb me. I have only thirty minutes. And what you will do after thirty minutes? Auntie, old uncle is disturbing me. Jungkook made a poker face and left from there towards you. Time skips. After dinner, Ari came in her bedroom, and here she was playing. Then someone opened her room door. What are you doing here? I came to see what are you doing. I'm playing with my toy. Hmm. You have so many toys. Yes, Auntie, bring all of these toys for me. You know she loves me so much. No, says my wife. That's why she loves me more. No, she loves me more. Look, she also brings so many dresses for me. 
and look here i have also so many hair and look so many colors i was sewing while opening the drawers one by one she brought so many things for me what she brought for you for me Harry nodded he entered in bedroom while both were talking and of course arguing Harry let's sleep now it's 9 o'clock auntie i want to sleep with you cutely while showing her puppy eyes no of course baby let's go to sleep you clear at jungkook and he shut his mouth and follow both of you and Harry You made her light between both of you. She hugged you and buried her head in your chest. It seems like she's your own daughter. Good night, auntie. Good night, sweetie. Most of the night, Harry slept with you. Sometimes he wants to sleep in a bedroom. This is her childhood mood swings. Am I a stranger? Harry turned towards him and spoke with an attitude. Yes, you are. Her little monster sees my wife, understand? And she's only mine. Of course, she is your wife, but now she lives with me and she loves me more because I stay with her every time. Not you. You only talk to her on phone and in night only. When Jungkook both get shocked, Sage of six only and speak like an adult. But her sentence was real. She is a child, but her presence with you always brings a smile on your face. You did not miss anyone much because of her. Yeah, yeah, okay, but soon I will take her with me and then I will not let you to meet with her. He said teasingly. So what? But still, she will love me. How can you say? It's simple, just like she did not meet with you every day, but still she loves you. Like this, she will always love me because I am a good girl. I do what auntie said me to do. Oh, very smart. Okay, now no more words sleep. I nodded. Good night, old uncle. Good night, little monster. After 30 minutes, you were not in deep sleep, but half asleep, then you feel a muscular arm wrap around your waist, making your case in his embarrass. You feel it's Jungkook. Jungkook did not you sleep it? No. He pulled you more closer and pecked your cheek. You turned towards him. I was missing your presence in my arms. In one week, you already made me the habit of cuddle, but still I killed six months without you. Now again I got chance. How can I miss this opportunity? I miss you too, but Ari made it a little easy for me. You smile. Only four months, and then Hyang will be here to handle it, and then you will be with me in Seoul. At that time, life will be perfect. He again pecked your cheeks. You know, Yuni is pregnant. Yeah, Hyang is enjoying their life a lot. And dear me, you do not even see my wife clearly. He said seductively, making you blush. We would stay one week together, but did not intimate. He said he will not do till you would start to live together. Vanna, do you have any plan for our future? I did not plan yet. I have. When we will start to live together, we are gonna do it with protection. Because I don't want any disturbance on our bed till 4 to 5 years. His heart was him with frightened eyes, but he was looking normal. Are you serious? This is your future plan. Of course, my wife is so hot and I don't want to ruin my beautiful night. This surely by bringing children. You hit his chest, he is then pain playfully. Seriously, you are a pre jungle. Who talk like this? He burst out in laugh. I was joking, honey. 
but I am serious also. Look at this little monster. How dangerous she is. Don't listen a monster. Don't speak like this, Jungkook. She is very cute. Yeah, yeah. Everyone is cute for you except me. Jungkook, don't get jealous. She is a little baby. She needs attention and love more. Jungkook hugged you and buried his head in your neck, making you gasp. You both are comfortable with each other, but you did not come this close. His lips touch your cleavers, making your face. Am I not a child for you? I also want your love and attention. He said in his baby voice, making your heart flutter. I love you so much, Jungkook. He made you nervous, is me, while hiding his face, but you get totally restless when he picked your clavis. Your heart gets up, feeling the sensation. Chanku, he broke up. What happened, baby girl? Your eyes were closed so softly, he landed his lips on you. You realize the situation and follow him passionately. After one week, it's Sunday at 9 o'clock. Harry and you were making Harry's school project when Jungkook walked in her bedroom with so many carry bags. He kept those bags on bed. What is in these bags? This is for you. Open it. She shot about you and you signaled him to she. She walked near bags. Wow, princess dress. She pulled dress from packet. You bring this for me? Jungkook nodded. Wow, it is so beautiful. Open another bag. She opened another bag and there was also an another dress. Harry smiled widely. She opened an another bag again. Oh my god, one more dress. She opened every packet and there was hair and suit. Sandals, colors, chocolates. Her face was shining brightly. Why you bring so much things? Jungkook sit beside Eri and hold her palm because she was so sweet and lovely. Eri got emotional and she hugged Jungkook. Jungkook chuckled and hold her in his lap. We were watching both of them sitting there. Jungkook loves to tease her but this view is something else. Take care of yourself. Harry break her and saw straight in Jungkook's eyes. Are you going? Jungkook nodded. Please stay some more days. I have so much work. That's why I need to go. When will you come again? Why you want me to come here? You don't like me, right? No, I like you. But I love to tease you. I'm sorry. Okay, we are friends, right? Best friend, see again hug him. You know I have a good news for you. What? Go in living room. There will be your good news. Harry ran towards living room. Now why are you sad? I'm gonna miss my baby. Come on, soon you will get your own baby. You glared at him and you also walked outside following by Jungkook and receiving a giggle. Mom, Dad, Ziran and Jimin pick her up in his arm. How is my baby? I'm super fine and happy too. Don't you love Mama only, Dada? Jimin gave her down and she hugged her mom. When new baby will come? Very soon. You also hugged Mrs. Jimin. Jungkook was out for receiving Mr. and Mrs. Jimin from airport and from the bay to airport, he bought gifts for Ari. I'm so happy today. She was jumping in whole living room. Mrs. Jimin, are you sad, Bayan? She says slowly but Terry listen it. Why are you sad, auntie? She sit near you. You try to control yourself but tears formed in your eyes. Why are you crying? No, I'm not crying. I'm happy for you. Are you watching her? My wife loves your daughter, not her husband. 
for a jealous bunny jungle secret attached with airy you will not understand if i have bitten by are you crying she said while cupping her cheek your aunt is gonna miss you baby that's why she is crying but i will live with you i will not go anywhere i'm sorry airy i'm going she said to watch jungkook you are taking aunty from here jungkook nodded why airy aunty has work in seoul and her uncle also live alone there you know when they will start to live there he will get a sibling mrs chimen whispered this sentence in airy ear making airy smile badly and this bring confusion in other face airy wow i will get two siblings you go and come soon with baby you get embarrassed in front of everyone but other chuckle on airy sentence okay so can we go now this time can't you go tomorrow people what i need to attend an important meeting okay go but call me of course i will do we both hug each other tightly time has skipped at 9:11 o'clock hi i'm get ready for work we got that deal I knew that you know Wan had magic in her presence she just satisfy everyone from her words and what about me all credits is for Wan nothing for me okay okay you both are perfect fine where is your little monster she is watching tv some little man hi ang they are snow daft don't call them little man do you also watch Ah uh, no no in one big your little monster teach me so many things You came out of bathroom and sit beside Jungko Give me phone and you go to get fresh Okay madam he extend phone towards you Hello pa bye ni congrats you too it's all of our hard work Eri snatch phone from Jimin hand. Auntie, did you miss me? Of course, I miss my baby. How was important meeting? Oh my God, you remember? Meeting was perfect. We got a great deal. I knew you will do it. I did not did anything, baby. It's all of our family hard work. Oh, did you eat? Yes, we had a little party in our office. Do you eat? Yes. What were you doing this late? Jungkook point of view when i come out of bathroom i saw boyan was on bed talking with nona i also laid beside her after dimming the light jungkook snatch phone from your hand nona and i talk tomorrow from your dear sister okay by the way enjoy your night must stay awake of course we are not going to sleep tonight Mrs. Jimin chuckled and phone got cut, making you shy. He threw the phone a little far and pulled you in his embarrass. Should we start, wifey? Of course. He got totally shocked from your boldness. Seriously, this much boldness, Kitten? He pulled you more closer, almost brushed both of your lips. I love you and I want you badly. I'm going to fulfill your every wish and desire, sweetheart. He smashed his lips to yours, making you stick with his body. You both were enjoying and feeling the love which you both missed from 6 months. The honor of each other life pair totally engaged in devouring each other. He is strong but you are hard. You both are hungry. That's why the session get too long and tiring. The unholy sound of pure love was keep roaming in bedroom, while every little thing closed their eyes, 
for not becoming the witness of this unholy process of making love. After the session, you both get to stick with each other. Naked under the thin doublet, making love with shy, he pull you closer as nothing can make way between both of you. Your heart touched his chest, giving you the satisfaction. Did you enjoy a lot? I'm gonna go you far, far from me. You need to be stay with me. Twenty four into seven, understand? Okay, I love you, sweetheart. Your heart fluttered, listening the word. I love you more, sweetheart. You murmured, but the smile wildly with his whole heart. Holy moly!